guys, it's Chelsea, and you're watching Chelsea No Productions. Uh, first things first, uh, do you like where I'm filming? If you like where I'm filming, I film in the same place I filmed the intro in my last video. So if you like the place I'm sitting, or if you don't like, make sure to comment that down below so I can get some like feedback on you know where where I should uh, film. The outro of my last video, I filmed in my room. So if you like that better, or if you like this better, make sure to comment that down below. Uh, so this video is going to be a book update review. Uh, it's just gonna be what books I've read, did I like them, what I, uh, what I would rate them, and, uh, what I recommend it to another person. Quick Little America by Donald J. Trump. Donald Trump. Uh, and if you don't know who Donald Trump is, then you must live under a rock. Because he is the 2016 presidential, uh, candidate. Uh, front runner. He's got like 47%. Uh, and I really got into politics. Most people think, uh, I shouldn't, I shouldn't watch it. Why should I even care that, about this, any of this stuff? Uh, I can't vote. My, it doesn't matter. Uh, what happens in four years, I'll be able to vote. So, I think that if I, I just really have an interest in it. And I think that if I can get a good understanding and there's so much to keep track of. Donald Trump is constantly, constantly, constantly on the news. So it's hard to keep up with him. Uh, I have mixed feelings with him. So I decided that maybe if I read his book, I could get a better understanding of where he's coming from, why he did some of the stuff he did. What is, is there really something? Can he really tell me about the wall that he's going to build? Can he really tell me about the taxes that he's going to fix or the Obama? Is he going to do that? Can he do it? Can he help me decide if I really like him or not? Uh, and I did not accomplish that in this book by reading this book. He did not give me any idea of whether I like him or not. I still don't understand if I like him or not. Still haven't figured it out. I, I would recommend this to someone who... No one. I would recommend this to maybe someone who wants to know what his how much money he makes. Uh, lies about how much he really cares about. I mean, he, he has to care about the people he works for. But the only really thing that I really got from him is his tax stance, Obama, foreign countries, how he would fix it. He talks about a lot. He talks about the presidential. He talks about his uh, religion, his family. It, it's even got a picture of him and his family in here. But I would I would recommend this to someone who wants to understand his uh, policies more, not in his numbers. But I wouldn't recommend this, recommend this to someone who wants to figure out their feelings about Donald Trump. This does no way help me. Yes, I just did a good job. The photographer did a good job from the pre-phase of where he looks mean and why he looks mean. But anyways, we're getting into three minutes and I'm still done to talking about this book. Um, it's called A Crippled America, How to Make America Great Again by Donald J. Trump. It was, uh, around $20 at Barnes & Noble. You could get it at, like, $17.99 at Walmart. But, okay. What, uh, what was my rating? A 5.5 out of 10 was my rating for this book. Is 4 by Veronica Roth. It is the fourth and final book of the Divergent series. Um, it is a Divergent collection. It has one, two, three, four, five. It has really four with a, an exclusive scene from uh, this. When Veronica Roth first started writing the uh, Divergent series, she wrote from Force perspective. Then she didn't really fit the character, thought the character felt really right for it. So she changed it to Beatrice slash Triss prior. Um, she still kept these and it kind of goes on. It kind of uh, talks about, it has scenes from Divergent, you know, that you read, but I really expected a lot more from this book. I expected to know the ending from Allegiant was going to be in here, how it affected him, but it was not. It was really how his life changed from his father, his abusive father, uh, Marcus Eaton, and his mother, how he found his mother, and how he kind of fell in love with Triss. It did not, it ended on a just bad note. Uh, as I say her name, I realize how I know her. She's Andrew Pryor's daughter, Beatrice Triss. 
uh, it it doesn't it doesn't give me an ending. Like that's not an ending to the book. I guess the Allegiant was ending, but you know I didn't feel that made me so angry. Okay, in like twelve more days, not even twelve. It's like ten more days. The movie comes out. Allegiant. Um. So that's. Look, I've only read 30 pages of it. Uh, it's called Matched. It follows, um, I forgot her name. I'll read uh, one of the reviews. It's kind of like The Giver. It's kind of like The Giver, but a little more romantic. I've only read 30 pages of it, so I don't really know what's going to happen. So please, 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 no spoilers in the comment section. Um, that's pretty much it. I've read three books. Uh, I hope that you liked the books that I read, and if you want to read any of the books, I will try to link the books, uh, from different, like, Barnes and & Noble, and if they have them, I'll try to link them down there so you can go and check them out. Make sure to follow all of my, uh, social medias, okay? So, I've got Snapchat, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. I've got a Facebook page. I'm not on it because this is the main thing that I'm on. I have a vlog channel. Um, that's, that's, I think that's it. Um... They'll all be linked in the description box. And uh, if you like this video, and if you like any of the books that I read, and you think that I should read in any other books, make sure to comment those down below. But if you like this video, make sure to give it a huge thumbs up so I can keep track and see how many people are really watching these videos. Um, okay. Uh, if you're not subscribed already, make sure to subscribe. It's free, and it just keeps you updated when my next video comes out. Uh, so the subscription box will be down below, or you can click on this button right here. So I'm pretty sure that's it. That's all I have to say. Thanks so much for watching. Um, bye guys. Thanks for your consideration. Bye guys.